students today we are going to learn about one of the method of depreciation called straight line method what is straight line method under this method the depreciation is calculated on the original cost what is original cost purchase price of fixed asset plus insulation charges plus freight charges to be paid on the purchase of fixed asset then under this method depreciation remain constant the fixed percentage of depreciation is charged on fixed asset every year if we use this method after useful life of the fixed asset the asset value becomes zero very important thing is this method we can use for fixed asset to calculate depreciation which do not require repair and renewal yes look at the board we are learning depreciation accounting in depreciation accounting we are learning first method straight line method it is also called original cost method it is also called fixed installment method under this method depreciation calculated on the original cost original cost of a fixed asset depreciation remain constant fixed every year fixed percentage of depreciation is calculated every year on fixed asset this method used for calculation of depreciation on fixed asset which do not require repair and renewal expenses the fixed asset value becomes zero after its useful life this is the meaning of straight line method let we see problem relating to the straight line method students now we learn calculation of amount and rate of depreciation under straight line method look at the board first problem find amount and rate of depreciation under straight line method slm is a short form of straight line method what are all given purchase price of asset scrap value and life these three called factors which required for calculation of depreciation what are all we need total cost scrap value and life if we have these three we can calculate amount of depreciation yes now if you want to calculate amount of depreciation the formula is amount of depreciation formula is total cost or original cost minus scrap value divided by life of fixed asset life of fixed asset these are all called factors that determine the amount of depreciation purchase price of fixed asset given 1 lakh 1 lakh scrap value given how much 5000 life of asset also given 10 years deduct this we'll get 95000 divided by 10 so 9500 rupees per year every year they are charging 9500 rupees as depreciation this is amount of depreciation after finding amount of depreciation we can find rate of depreciation rate rate means percentage of depreciation what is the formula of rate of depreciation what we ascertained earlier amount of depreciation amount of depreciation divided by total cost or original cost into 100 amount of depreciation just now we ascertained 9500 total cost we know how much 1 lakh into 100 so our rate of depreciation is 9.5% okay now look at the second problem find out amount and rate of depreciation under straight line method first we are going to find amount of depreciation amount of depreciation equal to depreciation equal to original cost or total cost minus scrap value or residual value or turn in value divided by life of fixed asset yes purchase price of the plant fixed asset given 2 lakh 
insulation charges how much 50000 so if we add these two we'll get original cost so our total original cost 1 2 lakh 50000 minus scrap value is given how much 15000 life of fixed asset 5 years given in the question so our answer is 2,35,000 divided by 5 equal to 47,000 rupees per year. They are charging depreciation 47,000 per year. Then we can calculate rate of depreciation. Rate of depreciation. What is the formula? Amount of depreciation. Amount of depreciation. Divided by original cost or total cost. into 100 amount of depreciation just now we ascertained 47000 original cost how much 250000 into 100 so rate of depreciation is 18.8 percent students what is the difference between these two in this problem the initial expenses on purchase of fixed asset not given but in this problem initial expenses incurred on insulation on purchase of fixed asset are given that we called expenses to be capitalized if expenses to be capitalized are given we should assume that one as insulation charges or initial expenses of the fixed asset we should add with the fixed asset value we'll get the total cost student we learned calculation of amount and rate of depreciation now we'll see on problem relating to the straight line method which include journal and ledger account Students, now we learn journal entry and preparation of ledger accounts in relation to the straight line method. Look at the problem. On 1st January 2015, a fixed asset was purchased for rupees 180 and its insulation charges came to 20,000. After having used it for three years, it became obsolete. Obsolete means useless and sold off for rupees 1 lakh so they bought for 1 lakh 80 thousand they spent 20 thousand so original cost 2 lakh rupees they used for three years after three years it become useless and sold off for 1 lakh okay assume the company accounts are closed on 31st december every year so they are closing their accounts on 31st december of every year very important and write of depreciation at 10% per annum on the straight line method. So they are writing of depreciation at 10% per annum on the straight line method. They are asking two questions. One is past journal entry, prepare fixed asset account and depreciation account for first three years. Okay. Now we should do workings. When we bought that uh, fixed asset on 1-1, 2015 every year ends on 31st December so first year ends on 31st December 2015 the so second year ends on 31st December 2016 third year ends on 31st December 2017 so they sold the fixed asset on 31st December 2017 so first year second year third year first year they used for 12 month second year also they used for 12 month third year also they used for 12 month yes now i'm going to do working listen carefully on 1 1 2015 they bought fixed asset for how much 2 lakh rupees first year ends on 31st december 2015 on 2 lakh we have to provide 10 percent depreciation Original cost how much? 2 lakh. On 2 lakh, 10 percent is 20,000. 1 lakh 80 is the book value. First year depreciation written off. Then second year, 31st December, 31st December 2016. We have to provide depreciation on original cost. How much? 2 lakh into 10 percent. How much? 20,000. Balance 1 lakh 60. Every year we have to provide full year depreciation because every year they used to plan for 12 month then third year 31 12 2017 again they are providing depreciation on the original cost of 2 lakh into 10 percent 20,000 balance 1 lakh 40 this we called book value this we called book value so they bought plant on 1st January 2015 at a cost of 1,80,000 plus insulation charge total cost 2 lakh. 
every year the depreciation reduced by 10 percent so every year we calculated depreciation on the original cost after having used it for three years the book value of the fixed asset is 1 lakh 40 they sold for how much 1 lakh so selling price is selling price is 1 lakh so 1 lakh 40 book value fixed asset sold for 1 lakh so 40,000 is the loss students listen carefully here book value exceeds the selling price will get loss sometimes selling price exceeds the book value will get profit yes now I am going to record journal entry journal entry on 1 1 2015 we bought fixed asset for 2 lakh so we have to record journal entry for purchase of fixed asset the entry is fixed asset account data to bank to bank the value of fixed asset 2 lakh narration is fixed asset purchased fixed asset purchased then on 31st December 2015 depreciation we have to provide depreciation on 31 12 2015 we have to record journal entry for depreciation entry is depreciation account at R to fixed asset to fixed asset the value of depreciation how much on 31 12 2015 value of depreciation is 20,000 narration depreciation is charged then immediately on the same date the same value of depreciation should be transferred to the profit and loss account so profit and loss account data to depreciation profit and loss account data to depreciation 20,000 so first year they bought fixed asset then at the end of the year they recorded two entry for depreciation then move to next date on 31 12 2016 we have to provide depreciation entry we have to provide we have to record depreciation entry the entry is again we have to repeat the same entry what is the entry depreciation account at R to fixed asset to fixed asset the value of asset 20,000 on the same date on the same date the deposition should be transferred to the profit and loss account so entry is profit and loss account data to depreciation being depreciation transferred to the profit and loss account so first year we have three entry one entry for purchase of fixed asset two entry for depreciation second year we have to record two entry only for depreciation in third year on 31 12 2017 we have to record journal for depreciation what is the entry depreciation account data to fixed asset the third year depreciation also 20,000 on the same date the depreciation should be transferred to the profit and loss account profit and loss account data to depreciation value 20,000 then on 31 12 2017 they sold the fixed asset they sold the fixed asset what is the entry when they sell they are getting money so bank account at R to fixed asset account just we have to reverse the first entry on sale of fixed asset for how much we sold 1 lakh rupees narration sale of fixed asset sale of fixed asset on the same date we have to record entry for the loss entry for losses profit and loss account data to fixed asset if it is a profit fixed asset account data to profit and loss account the loss value how much 40,000 narration loss on sale of fixed asset so first year there are three entries second year two entry third year 
two entry for depreciation one year one entry for sale one year entry for loss so totally four entry okay now i am going to prepare ledger accounts now i am going to prepare ledger accounts first ledger is fixed asset account yes in first journal fixed asset debited so it should be debited 112015 to bank value how much 2 lakh 2 lakh in second entry fixed asset account credited it will be recorded in the credit side by depreciation the value 20000 in third journal no fixed asset account recorded in fourth journal we have fixed asset but that is the next year we will close this year Two lakh minus 20000 equal to 1 lakh 80 this is by balance closing balance of 31 12 2015 it is the opening balance of 11 2016 two balance pd value 1 lakh 80 then we should consider the second year so in second year the fixed asset account again credited 31 12 2016 by depreciation second year depreciation value 20000 in next entry we do not have fixed asset account so we have to balance it because the year ends so 1 lakh 80000 One lakh eighty thousand minus twenty balance one lakh sixty thousand. So the closing balance of thirty one twelve two thousand sixteen is one lakh sixty thousand. So it will be the opening balance of first January two thousand seventeen. Two balance BD value one lakh sixteen. Then in third year, so first year we have three entry, second year we have two entry. In third year, we have four entry, two entry for depreciation, one entry for sale, one entry for loss. Yes. Then we are preparing third year uh, fixed asset account, so we have to consider four entry. Here, fixed asset account credited. In first journal, fixed asset account credited. So by depreciation, the value twenty thousand. In next journal, no fixed asset account. We can leave it. In third entry. We have fixed asset account credited. So on thirty one twelve two thousand seventeen by bank sale of fixed asset value one lakh. Then in fourth entry fixed asset account credited. So the loss will be credited as profit and loss account. The value how much? Forty thousand. so it was agreed because the asset was sold if it is not sold it shows balance if it is sold the asset value shows nil balance yes then we have to prepare one more ledger called a depreciation account depreciation account it is a ledger account so here depreciation credited in every year depreciation account credited first you should copy the date on the debit side 31 12 15 in fixed asset account depreciation credited so in depreciation account what will be debited fixed asset account so two fixed asset account value 20000 on the same date it should be credited to the profit and loss account value 20000 so first year depreciation account over likewise second year so 31 12 2016 two fixed asset account Twenty thousand on the same date, it should be credited to the profit and loss account value twenty thousand. Then in third year, thirty one twelve two thousand seventeen two fixed asset account twenty thousand. On the same date, it should be credited to the profit and loss account value twenty thousand. students in this class we learned the meaning of straight line method and formula for finding amount and rate of depreciation and we learned journal and preparation of ledger account in relation to the straight line method in next class we learn different problem till then bye and thank you